Hello everyone and sincerely welcome to the IT Knowledge Base YouTube channel. This is a comprehensive training on installing Wazoo, a powerful open source security information and event management solution. In today's complex digital landscape, safeguarding your systems and data is more critical than ever. Wazoo provides a robust platform for threat detection, incident response and compliance management. Whether you are a seasoned cyber security professional or a curious enthusiast, this step-by-step -step solution tutorial will walk you through the process, making it accessible for all the skills level. Let's dive in and empower you to fortify your digital defenses with Wazoo Seam. In this video training, I will discuss two types of installation. Quick installation. In this type of installation, all the solution steps are fully automated. You just have to sit casual and your brand new Wazoo seam will be ready in a few minutes. The second is manual installation, which I value to take you delve deeper into the understanding of how things work under the Wazoo hood. Check the minimum requirements. You should have Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 7, 8 or 9, CentOS 7 or 8, Amazon Linux 2, Ubuntu version 16.04, 18.04, 20.04 or 22.04. You should have 4 GB of RAM and 2 CPU cores. Please note the system does not support Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and match this list. You have to use this switch to skip this check. You should have installed Ubuntu 22.4 LTS and I have also stated the link in the description section. In my lab, I have already installed Ubuntu 22.4 LTS along with the SSH to get the remote connection from the party or you could use any of your favorite terminal emulators. Download Ubuntu 22.4 LTS from here. Once your server is set up and ready, follow the instructions subsequently. Before we begin the installation process, it's essential to ensure that your APT or Advanced Package Tool to repository is up to date. This step ensures that you have access to the latest package information and versions. Open your terminal and run the following command. You need to be the root user or a high privilege user to run all commands described in this video. Now let's check how to quickly install Wazoo. Download and execute the Wazoo Solution Assistant script with the following commands. It about takes 12 minutes to complete its setup. This script simplifies the solution process, guiding you through the setup of Wazoo effortlessly. With this, your Wazoo server is ready. Copy the provided credentials from the terminal. Check the IP address of this Wazoo Seam server. Type IP space A. Note the IP address. Enter the server IP into your browser and proceed to login. Navigate to your Wazoo server IP address and hit enter. Login using the provided credentials. Type user admin and the password. And here it is. Now start exploring your Wazoo Seam dashboard. If you encountered problem loading the dashboard, if issues persist, it's likely attribute to the indexer. Resolve this by increasing your system's resources and performing a quick reboot. This straightforward step should alleviate any loading hurdles. And now here you successfully installed your first new Wazoo Seam server. If you are someone like me, inclined to take the scenic route and delve deeper into understanding how things work under the hood, the manual installation process is standard made for you. Follow the instructions subsequent to gain a hands-on understanding of each component's installation and configuration. All-in-one installation. In this section, we will set up our Wazoo seam manually. But before proceeding, let's understand the Wazoo structure. Wazoo is structured around three pivotal components. Each played a distinct role in ensuring a robust and comprehensive security information and event management solution. Number one, indexer. The indexer is the backbone of Wazoo, responsible for efficiently storing and managing vast amount of security data. It plays a crucial role in facilitating rapid data retrieval and analysis. Number two, server. It's acting as the core processing unit. The server interprets and analyzes the data collected by agents. It executes essential security operations such as threat detection, incident response, and compliance management. 
Number three, dashboard. The dashboard is a user-friendly interface that provides a visual representation of your security data. It offers pre-built dashboards for quick insight into security events, vulnerabilities, file integrity monitoring, configuration assessments, cloud infrastructure monitoring, and compliance standard. Together, these three components form the foundation of Wazoo, offering a scalable and flexible solution to enhance your organization's cybersecurity posture. In an all-in-one solution scenario, all three critical components of Wazoo, indexer, server, and dashboard are consolidated into a single server. This streamlined approach simplifies the setup process, making it particularly convenient for users seeking a quick and straightforward deployment. The all-in-one configuration is well suited for environments with moderate security needs or those looking for a rapid deployment solution. While it offers simplicity, it's essential to assess your specific security requirements and infrastructure scalability to determine the most suitable installation approach. Now let's configure the indexer first. The installation process is divided into three stages. Number one, certificate creation. Number two, nodes installation. And number three, cluster initialization. Don't forget to switch to root or any high privilege user and update your repository before starting. Now let's create a folder called Wazoo Installer. CD into the specified directory. Then follow these steps. Let's create the certificate creation. Generate the SSL certificate. Download the Wazoo certification tool script and the YAML configuration file. This creates the certificates that encrypt communication between the Wazoo central component. Download the Wazoo certificate script and now download the configuration file. Now edit the config YAML file and replace the node name and IP values with the corresponding names and IP addresses. You need to do this for all Wazoo server, Wazoo indexers and Wazoo dashboard nodes. Add as many node fields as needed. Now type the IP address of your indexer server. And this server IP address is 192.168.11.177. Wazoo server IP address is same. And the Wazoo dashboard IP. Save the configuration file and exit it out. Now run the Wazoo certificate tool script to create the certificate. For a multi-node cluster, these certificate need to be later deployed to all Wazoo instances in your cluster. Type bash and Wazoo certificate tool script and it's installed. Now compress all the necessary files. Remove the Wazoo certificate file. Check the files. And here is your compressed file. Now proceed to node installation, installing package dependencies. Paste this command and hit enter. Now adding Wazoo repository. Install the following package if you don't have them already. Press yes and hit enter. Now install the GPG key. Adding Debian repository. And now update the package information. It's done. Now installing Wazoo Indexer and install the Wazoo Indexer package. Wazoo Indexer is installed. Now edit the configuration file and replace the following values. Network.host Set the address of this node for both HTTP and transport traffic. The node will bind to this address and use it as its published address. Accepts an IP address or a hostname. Use the same node address earlier set in config.yml to create the SSL certificates. Node.name Name of the Wazoo indexer node as defined in the config.yml file for example, node dash one, cluster dot initial master node, list of the names of the master eligible nodes. These names are defined in the config.yaml file. Uncomment the node two and node three lines. 
change the names or add more lines according to your config.yml definitions. Now save the file and exit it out. Deploying certificates. Ensure you are in the Wazoo installer directory created earlier. This is a crucial as we will require the Wazoo certificate.tar file from the previous step. Run the following commands replace node 1 which is indexer node name with the name of the Wazoo indexer node you are configuring as defined in config.yml. For example node 1. This deploys the SSL certificates to encrypt communications between the Wazoo central components. Now create a directory for Wazoo indexer certificate. Extract the Wazoo certificate. Compress file. Move the certificates, change the Wazoo certificate folder permission, change the permission of all the content inside the Wazoo certificates and change the ownership. And here is a recommended action for you. If no other Wazoo components are going to be installed on this node, remove the Wazoo certificate.tar file by running this command to increase security. Now start the service, enable and start the Wazoo indexer service. Reload the daemon, enable the Wazoo indexer, and start the Wazoo indexer. Now let's confirm the status of Wazoo index service with the command below. If it shows running, you are good to go. It shows green, which means service is running. Now set up the cluster initialization. Run the Wazoo indexer indexer security.init.sh script on any Wazoo indexer node to load the new certificate information and start the single node. Now testing the cluster installation. Run the following command to confirm that the installation is successful. Output should look like this. Now run this command again to check if the single node is working correctly. Replace the Wazoo indexer IP according to your scenario and run the following command to check if the single node is working correctly. And here mine works perfectly fine. Now let's set up the Wazoo server. The Wazoo indexer is now successfully installed in our single node or multi node cluster and you can proceed with installing the Wazoo server. The Wazoo server analyzes the data received from the Wazoo agents, triggering alerts when threats or anomalies are detected. It is also used to remotely manage the agents, configuration and monitor their status. Wazoo server installation process is divided into two stages, Wazoo server node installation and clustered configuration for multi-node deployment. Wazoo server node installation, installing the Wazoo manager package. Wazoo Manager is installed. Now enable and start Wazoo Manager services. Now run the following command to verify the Wazoo Manager status. It's active and it's running. Installing the file beat package. Edit the file beat YAML configuration file and replace the following values. The list of Wazoo indexer nodes to connect to, but let's change it to our host IP address. Now save the file and exit it out. Create a file bit key store to securely store authentication credentials. Add the default username and password admin admin to the secret key store. And of course, you should change default password after setup everything. Now download the alerts template for the Wazoo indexer. Change modification of file beat Wazoo template JSON file. Installing the Wazoo module for file beat. Now deploying certificates. 
our wazoo certificate dot tar is still in this folder and our node name environment variable is still set so we can proceed create a certificate directory in the file beat folder extract the certificate file in the file beat certificate subfolder move the file beat certificate file change the permission of certificate folder now change the permission of all the content inside the certificate folder and now change the ownership now it's time to start and enable the file beat service first reload the daemon enable file beat and start the file beat server service and run the following command to verify that file beat is successfully installed it's showing all okay which means it's running fine if you get the handshake error x509 freight not we are using a self signed certificate remember this will be resolved later your wazoo server node is now successfully installed wazoo dashboard this central component serves as a versatile and user friendly web interface designed for extracting analyzing and presenting security data offering pre built dashboards it enables effortless navigation through the user interface the wazoo dashboard empowers user to visualize a spectrum of security elements including security events identified vulnerabilities data file from integrity monitoring results of configuration assessment even from cloud infrastructure monitoring and adherence to regulatory compliance standards now let's proceed for wazoo dashboard installation installing the following package now install the wazoo dashboard package now configure the wazoo dashboard edit the wazoo configuration file and replace the following values server.host this setting specifies the host of the wazoo dashboard server to allow remote users to connect set the value to the ip address or dns name of the wazoo dashboard server the value the default value will accept all available ip addresses of the host i will change to my server ip address open search.host the url of the wazoo indexer instances to use for all your queries the wazoo dashboard can be configured to connect to multiple wazoo indexer nodes in the same cluster the addresses of the nodes can be separated by commas and i would add my host ip address here save this file and exit it out deploying certificates create a folder in the wazoo dashboard this is a certificate folder for wazoo dashboard extract the certificate compress file move the certificate files change the permission similarly like earlier and change the ownership and now enable and start the wazoo dashboard service reload the daemon enable the wazoo dashboard and now start the wazoo dashboard service and now check the wazoo dashboard status it's active and running now access the wazoo web interface with your credentials this is due to self signed certificate click on advance and click on proceed type your default username it's admin and the password is admin2 hit enter completing its first initialization and welcome to your newly installed wazoo server dashboard with this we have come to the end of the setup but why not take things a step further and add a few agents adding our first windows agent now click on add agent select the agent platform in my case this is windows and enter the wazoo server ip address this is my wazoo server ip address and i would prefer to enable remember server address type the agent name in my case this is dc01 select one or more existing group this is the default group 
and run the following command in the PowerShell to download and install the agent. Now let's switch to Windows Server. Now paste the copied command and hit enter. This might take a while as the agent is being downloaded to the Windows machine. Now start the Windows agent on the host using the command type net start wazoo service or start from the services.msc. It's up to you. Now switch back to our wazoo dashboard and this time the agent should show up as connected on the dashboard now. It's still showing in the disconnected section. Refresh the browser and it shows active. This is my domain controller, server 2016 standard edition and this is the IP address. Now add another agent in the Ubuntu desktop. To add a new agent, click on the deploy new agent. In my case, it's Ubuntu 64-bit edition. Click Debian 64-bit. IP address of my Wazoo server, it's automatically populated here. Type the agent name, it's Ubuntu Apache Web01. Select the default group. Now copy and paste the command in the terminal. Now switch back to our Ubuntu desktop. Copy and paste the command in the terminal. The command should be executed as a favorite user. Switch to root. And paste the command. Now start the Wazoo agents. Should reload the daemon first. Enable Wazoo agent and then start the Wazoo agent. And now Wazoo dashboard should now show that the new agent has been added. Now switch back to our Wazoo dashboard. And here it is. We have two active agents. And congratulations on successfully installing and configuring Wazoo Seam. With the completion of this video training, your Seam setup is now fully operational and equipped to detect and respond to security threats effectively. Don't forget to fortify your system security by changing the default credentials. This simple but yet its crucial step adds an extra layer of protection against potential threats. Having already added two agents on your Seam, you have extended its reach to monitor additional endpoints this proactive approach ensures comprehensive security coverage across your digital environment. Stay tuned for more insight and best practices as we continue to explore advanced features and optimization in my upcoming videos. We have a lot more genuine content in my upcoming videos. Hashtag stay in and explore ITKB. Alright, that is all for the now. So that is all I wanted to share with you guys. If you want to see more awesome training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it. Or if you have any issues or questions, you can reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.